I promised my 12 year old Sawyer that I would say hello to you. So he literally just sent me a text, please mom, please, please tell him I said hello. As if right. that will mean something to you. So It does, tell Sawyer I said hello and I hope okay. that he enjoys uh, the interview and the questions uh, that will follow. Awesome. Um, all right, so if you're cool, we can just start I'm chatting. I'm absolutely ready to go. Okay, great. Um, Let's start with what is your category? This is a big reveal, Tyler. Like, what's your thing that you are such a nerd about? Uh, video games. So my okay. wife and I decided right before this, we're going to do uh, my, my top five favorite video games of all time. Okay, great. And is this spanning back decades or these, these are mostly things that are more recent? Uh, this is like forever of all time. Okay, okay. And my last question is, are these in order of like, least favorite to most favorite like are we building up to a big reveal or just in any, no. any order no, okay this great. is gonna be any order for sure i want so badly to have played at least one game no let's it's not gonna go happen. okay uh, there's okay, no way what's number five what's number five on your list um God, I, I guess yeah i love how i said it's not in order in any particular order right. and i'm already and i'm already thinking of like i don't want to say like my yeah. my least favorite person i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna say it uh Okay. First one that comes to my head is Final Fantasy XI. So the entire Final Fantasy franchise started with uh, Square Enix, the company. Um, I hope I'm getting this right. They were a gaming company back in the day, and they were failing. They were not doing you know well at all. They were on their last ditch effort, and they had one game idea left, and they called it Final Fantasy because it was like their final game as well. Uh, and it took off completely. It blew up. Uh, so fast forward many years later, they're on their uh, 11th game, Final Fantasy XI, which is an MMO, which means it's a massive multi-online game, right? So unlike all of the other games where, which are single player, this one you can play with uh, technically millions of people across the world um, in any part of the world. And my brother and I got into it when I was very little, uh, very little to how old I am now. Uh, I Wait, was like, how old are you? How old are I'm 20, you? I, I just turned 29. So I'm 29 okay, years old. 20, okay, okay, you're not. Come on now. You're not, you're not a child, you're an adult. Okay, 29. I'm an adult. So when did you start playing this game? How old were you? I was 13. Okay. And my, uh, it was when I, like my very first time trying to play it. And my brother Chris tell, is like telling my mom, like, you can't let him play this game. These, these are the games where people lose their lives in these games because they're like, like mom, like, like don't get him this game. And then she got me the game. Uh, and I don't know why. Actually, Chris picked it. So Chris told her not to get it. And then, Is he like, older? And, yeah, he's two years older than me. Uh, and he's the middle the child. The older and then, sibling always thinks they know better. Right. And then he gets it and ends up falling in love with the game more than I did. So that's actually how it happened. Uh, like, how, it's, how it all started. He starts playing the game. And me, I stopped playing it. And then me and my oldest brother, John, are playing Halo, like, making fun of him because he's playing the game by himself. Um, but then I ended up starting playing it. And so well, I was like, what, 13, 14, 15 is when I started playing it, like fully. And then I played it for 10 years of my life. Like 10 years, like wow. a whole decade of this game. Like, so I wait, describe it for me. I have never seen it. I don't know what it is at all. Like describe this world. Okay, so it is, um, it's a magical world. Obviously none of it's real, uh, fan super fantasy where you can pick uh, whatever race you want. There's like a, an elven, so like a much, an elf, right? A much right. tall, tall character. Um, there's a Galka, which is like this big, like bear type. It's a, it's a human. It looks like a human, I guess, like a big, but like a, you know, think of like a very girthy human. Uh, a little okay. tartar, you could pick like a tartaru and they're like little midgets, like not even midgets. They're like super tiny, like cute freaking creatures. Uh, you can pick a human, which is just regular. And then like Mithra, which is like a cat type character. Um, and, and what's your go-to? What's your go-to character? I was a Tarotaru, so okay. I was just this, I was this tiny little guy walking around. Um, and each one has like their special special you know attributes, which are stronger than others. So like Tarots are really good, like mages, so they have a lot of magic. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, very simple, really. Like if you like looking at it, um, and there's jobs you can be a warrior who are like tanks, and then there was like uh, white mages which heal, and then black mages which like they they cast ma like dark magic. Um, and 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 now there's like you know every job you can imagine in the Final Fantasy universe is now like in the game uh, since it's come out, since it's like, you know, eventually you just have to keep adding content. Uh, and, and do they, 
it, do, are you teaming up with other people and sort of like going on a mission? Yes. So okay. this, so unlike a lot of other MMOs, which like a lot of them are like solo based where you can kind of run around and do your own stuff and level up by yourself and quest by yourself. And obviously there are some stuff that's harder that requires more people, but like Final Fantasy 11 was very much like, if you wanted to solo in this game, it would take you forever. There were some missions that you could not do alone, like at, at all, no matter what. Um, so like me and my brother, my brother, we were just, we would always be searching all night for parties and like quest parties and like finding these, this, this specific group of people that you need in order to do it. Like you can't just go in with six white mages and like do this quest because there's no damage, right? No, you're just gonna get slaughtered. So you would have to wait sometimes for like a, a warrior to seek and then a black mage to be available who needs that quest as well. Like it was very, like we learned a lot of social skills. We learned a lot of like patience in that game because you're sitting there sometimes for an hour, just like waiting for like the one job that you need for a guy to come online or a girl to come online and, and, and like, you know, put up their flag, like they need an invite. Uh, and yeah, so I, I spent in on my main account and I had many accounts. On my main account, I had over 380 in-game days logged onto it. So that's wild. Yeah. Well, so, okay. Now, I honestly, my my kids play video games. This is not. We're not going to steer this in a negative direction. But I do have to ask because I just read a book that talks about video games and mm -hmm. addiction, and mm -hmm. I never knew this was a thing. But is it World of Warcraft? Is that yes. the one that's like people get sucked into? It's the same concept. This, yeah, like, that it's like, like because the same genre. you're going on missions and because it's global. So at right. two o'clock in the morning, there's still people playing. 100%. You can go do a mission. Correct. Is World of Warcraft on your list? Well, I like World of Warcraft. It is not on my list. It's a game okay. I never got. Okay. I never, I never got into. I, okay, I, got I think it. I'm kind of. I don't want to say I'm lucky because I got into FF11 just as much as I would have gotten into that game. So it's not like I would have been more sucked into that game. Um, but yeah, I mean, one of the one of the disclaimers when you when you queue up or uh, when you start Final Fantasy 11 at the end, at the very bottom, it's like, warning, like please enjoy like please enjoy the world of vanadil because it was called vanadil but please do not forget your family your friends your job your work right. and, like, your, that's a wild from I mean, your perspective like why does that happen why do people sort of so, dive in that hard yeah i mean so mmos in particular you it's it's an entire another world right i mean you're with of, of people that you're sharing it with it's not even like fortnite it's not even like uh you know halo or any of those types of games like you create this person, you create this character. And then now you like, you know what I mean? And you're now playing as this character in game. You're not just, you're not just a Spartan in Halo running around killing people every, in every other death match. And now you're playing capture the flag. Like that's completely irrelevant, right? You're creating another life essentially. Um, and some people can't distinguish between, you know, eventually like they, they might fall in love with it so much. They have so much fun. Right. And, then, and then they have so much fun with the people in it too. It's it's not like they're just playing the game and it's yeah. just the game. It really is that they're like, maybe they, I feel like those people who do lose their like sense of, of like the world and, and they do forget their friends and their family, they might not have good friends and they might not have a good family. You know what I mean? Like right. it's one of those, it's That's one real. of those things. Yeah. It's like escapism. It, it is 100%. Same thing with their job. Maybe they hate their job. Maybe they, they, maybe they hate their job. They hate their family. They hate their friends. And they do 100% like take on this life in that game. Um, I, don't, I haven't really heard of a lot of people who will have a good life, have a good job, have a good, and then let, you know. Mm, and then, that's and, interesting. And also abandon that. I'm yeah. sure that there are instances where it happens. Yeah. But just like, just like everything, you know, you can get addicted yeah. and fall into. I just, I thought it was fascinating stuff. because I never knew that that was something that happened. I was, I was just reading about addiction in a bunch of different ways because I'm a nerd and I'll read about anything. And it was talking about people who go to, like they go to like centers to sort of mm -hmm. detox so they don't have access to the video game, which is just wild. Sorry, I took this yeah. in a dark turn, no, but okay. I just wanted to ask. You know, have, you have, people have to have, uh, what's the, I mean, self-control, right? I mean, right. I, 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 I talk to this, uh, you know, with my wife, Jess, all the time. We go on vacations or we go out. What happened? We were in, um, we, we, were, we did this like commercial that we were filming. I think it was my Super Bowl 100 commercial that I filmed in, in um, California. And we, we rented this house in Malibu. And there was like, it was, inter there was like Wi-Fi, but that was it. Um, no gaming. Like my phone died and I just didn't care. Like, I, like it was one of those, like, it was like a full, it wasn't even, and it wasn't a detox, but mm -hmm. I wasn't like trying to play video games. I wasn't trying to get on my phone. I wasn't trying to like play Fortnite or hop on or any of those games. Like we, it was just, we just woke up, 
cracked open a claw, made breakfast, laid outside, <laughs> laid outside, heard like listened to the cracked waves. Open a claw. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. Um, and we just did nothing for like three days straight. And that's awesome. And without trying, right? And yeah. that is something that is important, you know, to be able to unplug without feeling that. And it's always good, yeah. right? Like I always ask yourself, like when uh, I've said this all the time, you know, I have these conversations in my chat. A lot of people will sometimes be like, you know, are you addicted to video games? Are you addicted to, to Red Bull? And I'm much just like, well, no, but also like, how do you know when you are? <laughs> like, well, like what's that moment where like, I, I like to have beer. Like I, li I love beer. Like a good craft beer is something that I really enjoy. My, my brothers got me into it. And like, you know, people joke all the time and it's really annoying because it's something serious and you shouldn't joke about it. But they'll be like, oh my God, you're an alcoholic. You're always drinking. And I'm just like, well, I don't need beer. Right. And like, I go, I go days and weeks without alcohol at all. But at what point, like, what is that like threshold, that moment right. where you're like, okay, I am an out, like, I, I do rely on this. Yeah. Or I am, yeah. I can't just have this anymore. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I hope right. I never know. Right. But, I do think it is a need thing. I think it's when you feel like you need this to cope or you need this to get through that moment. Yeah. Um, you know, I have 10 million questions and I don't want to keep you from your list, but I'm going to interrupt you again because I'm okay. fascinated by this. As So I'm a writer and for the longest time I had my business, it's my job, I run a media company and I wrote and that was my nerdy passion project. Nobody cared about my books and I loved it. Um, I just was super happy creating my thing. And then the books exploded and that then became what I was known for. And that is a massive blessing. And there's also something that's kind of sad when the thing that you love has money attached to it. Right. And I'm curious if you feel like that with video games, because I'm going to assume you're playing since you're 13 years old, you love this world, you love this. And now it has become your job. And it's not just become, if people are listening to this or watching this and they don't understand the level that you are at, it's not just like a little thing. Like I imagine you go to Malibu for three days, you're hanging out with your wife. There are people who freaked out. I'm going to assume because you weren't online because they couldn't access, there was nothing new, what's happening. So does it ever feel, do you ever sort of, this sounds very dramatic, but kind of like mourn yeah. when this wasn't a job, when it was just this thing that you love doing? Uh, not really because I can, like, I, I think I've, I, I've gotten better at being okay with taking time off and it's taken me 10 years to, to get there. Uh, and, and it's still, sometimes I'm not right. I'm like, babe, I haven't been on in like four days. Like I need to stream. Um, and I have those moments, but also it's like, it's just, it's, it's nice to finally be at the spot where it's like, I can play off stream and, and enjoy myself and not be stressed that I'm not streaming. Um, because I almost think because I'm at that level now, or I've been at that level now where people loved me, they wanted to watch me all day, every day. And quite frankly, now I feel like vocally, there are more people who are like haters and say mean things all the time. So it's almost even just more refreshing not to stream because right. like, well, even when I'm streaming on Twitch, like right now, um, I, I hadn't streamed on Twitch post Fortnite, crazy, massive mainstream blow up ninja. Right. Cause I went, I went over to mixer like right as that was happening, right at like the peak of that moment, right. Where I, I was still averaging like a crap load of viewers. I went over to mixer and then, so like, I, I come back and I'm thinking like, okay, I wonder what this is going to be like. I wonder what chat's going to be like, like my chat. And it's, and it's not like anyone else's. I mean, I have people who are coming in like literally my entire, like in non subscriber mode, which means that you, anyone can talk. Uh, people are just saying like the most rude things on the planet. Like it's insane. Like, so they're okay. So I've never seen it before. So it's, they're typing in me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you so they, are playing a video game. This is my mm -hmm. cool yeah. playing a video game maneuver yeah. and you're reading comments simultaneously. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very mentally stressful and like dra like draining. A lot of people don't understand. My wife didn't understand back in the day when we were dating, I would stream for eight hours and then get off and she's like, all right, let's go do something. And I'm just like, I'm, you're like, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm cashed out. And she's wow. like, how are you? You were just sitting down playing video games for eight hours. I was like, baby, like just, and she, she did it one day. Uh, she did one day, she did a scary game stream and she had like 20 viewers and she was just like, she did like two hours and she was like cashed, cashed out. So you were playing a game for lit, <laughs> sorry, I'm, yeah. I don't know if so I'm just asking. You're no, playing okay. for eight hours, of eight hours of video, the yeah. same video game? Usually the same video game, but like okay. lately. And people are watching you play that bit, say, 
there are people who watch for eight hours not always uh, a lot of okay. the, like uh, that's another thing a lot of people don't understand uh, like, people will be like oh my god dude you, you're watching this guy for eight hours the entire time he's live and it's like no that's the you know you're getting like you'll get literally depending on how big you are and how you know the like thousands of people coming and leaving every minute right it's so it's crazy wow. you know what i mean wow. yeah i mean people coming in they're out they're coming in they're out they're clicking off they're watching another stream they have to go they come back like you know, it's so you have concurrent viewers, you have new viewers, like unique viewers, like all these are statistics that you can look up and you can see how many people, individual people tune into your stream, how many um, stayed and watched for, for certain periods of time, hours watched, minutes watched, like there's, it's really cool. And are you consuming that, the chat, because there are fans in there and you want to show up for them? Absolutely. That yeah. way you I mean, consume it? For, for, okay, so it, this is like, this is where it becomes very you can you can stream how you want to stream there's some people like mm -hmm. that have gotten to a level where they don't reach out anymore and it's mainly because the chat's just toxic um but also because like taylor swift I mean, correct i mean if she streamed like i'm not gonna lie to you that's another thing like people have access like streamers are now almost starting to get to the level like certain streamers are starting to get to the levels of like celebrity status like celebrity celebrity mm -hmm. like the rock like that like, and you have to think about it when you're that big like you're ryan reynolds you're the rock you're you're freaking you know drake you do not interact with your fans or like no. the, the community as nearly not even a fraction as much as streamers do that because it's our job every day to literally wow. essentially be there with them so we have to we see the amount of people that are just spewing shit trying to like affect us and it's like all they like they for them it's like twitter and instagram right for them it's like don't, don't check your mentions don't read your instagram comments and you're set but for us, it's like, what are you gonna do? Stop reading your chat? Like that's one of your things, right? Stop reading donations. Like wow. people will donate five dollars and and then be like, you're a fucking loser. And I'll read it, and I, and I won't read it out loud, but I'll like see it, and I'm just like, uh, yes, like, thank you. Like for like, yeah, real talk. Does it affect you? Sometimes it depends on how my yeah. day is. If I'm having a good day, exactly. like it's whatever. If I'm having an okay right. day, it's whatever. Right. But if like if I had a shit morning and uh you know you know i stepped in poop because you know one of our dogs right. just couldn't make it to the outside and now i'm just like oh my god it's annoying all right whatever i gotta start streaming i start my stream first thing i first thing i see is fuck you sorry for the language yeah um, no you're fine you're fine and, I, and i'm just like well like you'll just yeah. be in this in this right you know really downward spiral for right for i do you ever um i because i'm thinking about myself and uh, my my joke for women who have any kind of platform is always like if you're anywhere near your hormones you have a wife so you understand this if you're hormonal at all don't read comments don't go in right. dms don't see what anyone's saying i know you're not experiencing the same thing but i wonder like if you ever sort of like psych yourself up for okay i'm gonna go in on a stream there's gonna be some assholes there they're gonna talk some shit they're not who i'm here for that's not my intention in this time i am here for those people for you know the 13 year old kid who like is so excited to be watching me right now i probably should do that more often i never yeah do that. like yeah. i'm like all right it's time to stream like i'm gonna stream because i'm you know it's what i do i love doing it i love playing video games and then i just do it right that's actually right. a good idea though i probably should mentally right. put myself in that mindset like there's gonna be people who are just trying to get my and here's the here's like the number one thing too is like so many people will talk shit and then if you read their username or their message their next message is like, oh my God, I'm a big fan. He read my message. Right. It's like. Right, right. It's, they just wanted the attention. They yeah. just wanted you to notice. It's like a little kid. I don't, y'all do have kids? Do y'all have kids? No. No, I mean like a toddler, toddler. Like a, a toddler wants your attention oh. and will do whatever. They'll break a glass or give you a hug. They don't care how they get your attention so long as they get your attention. I feel like it's like that with your chat. That is wild, and I don't even know you, but just as someone who does this for a living, you have got to protect your like emotional boundaries before you step into that space, man. Yeah, because that's I gonna agree. take a toll. Like, I, I and I'm speaking from personal experience. It doesn't matter how much money you're making if 100%. you gotta go into a space all the time where people are like, because I don't know if you have this, but I feel like with me, somehow trolls find a way to say like the exact thing that like makes it through your armor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Where absolutely. Where you're just like, ah, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. And then one thing you're like, oh my God. Oh, good, you. I have a best 
I am. I am. I am. You're right. I'm terrible at that. Anyway, yeah. I've gotten way off topic. No, we have, so we true. We, I could so talk about this forever. Honestly, I'm so fascinated by it. Le okay, okay, so we said number five on your list was yep. fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 11. Yep. Okay, what's right. number four? All right, Legend of Ligaya. So this game okay. is a PlayStation 1 game, uh, very old, and it was one, probably my first RPG that I remember, which is an, a role-playing game, uh, is what RPG stands for. And, I mean, one of the greatest games ever. Like, underrated, doesn't get talked about enough. It's obviously old, so it'll never, you know, it's not like it's going to come back. Uh, even though there are a lot of games, people, a lot of companies are doing, like, remakes and remasters. But, like, this company, it, like, no longer exists. Like, the person who owns it, um, like, the company, company that owns it, it's, like, now split. So it's, it's almost like it's too political to even, like, find out who owns it, who to, like, figure out who can actually remake it. Very, very upsetting. Um, but the premise of this game is there are three heroes they don't know their heroes yet obviously um and they have to go and there's this mist that is spread all over the world and if you're in the mist like there are monsters there the monsters can like attach to you and like consume you and then you become a monster it's very like it's dark it's probably one of the darkest very like one of the darkest rbgs for the time that i was playing i probably shouldn't have been playing it realistically um because it actually was pretty intense but yeah, so there, and there are these Genesis trees that were all around the, the globe and the world and you had to go travel and you had a Rasuru, which is like the, the heroes had Rasurus, which were good and they could, and they weren't affected by the mist. And then they could revive the Genesis trees when the tree would revive, it would like, you know, dissipate the mist and then towns would come back and people would no longer be possessed by these things. And it was super cool. Uh, the fighting style was super unique. You had to like put like, imagine like up, down, left, right. Like though you could do whatever combination you want. So like up, up, down, up, down, left, right, whatever. And like you could learn to move. So for example, somersault was up, down, up. So if you did up, down, up. Do you remember bar, that still? I have everything. I have everything down. I, Tempest break was like right, right, left, up, up, up. And then there was like a super move, which was like, I, I don't remember the hyper arts. The hyper arts were like, once you leveled up to like the max level, your spirit bar would be all across. So you could get like a full nine combo. And that one was like up, up, left, down, right, up, down, left, like just something crazy. And then your guy would do this insane. Wow. Yeah. So that do was. Do you have no, a photographic memory? Like, why do you know that still? I remember video. I just video games are. I just remember all that stuff is crazy. Wow, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So, um, will you tell me real quick because I want to make sure I understand this? Uh, and forgive me again. I'm gonna ask a dumb question, okay. but there's a difference between a console game and a PC game. Is that right? right. Mm -hmm. and then how you play it like is it like the fist mm -hmm. versus like a keyboard yeah, yeah. i don't so, know why i keep doing like hand motions no, for you you're you're you're, on, you're honestly you're on point so this is a, an okay. xbox controller so this would be considered okay. like any, any console game so um you play halo on this uh you know fable but also fable is now not, not like now almost every game is, is is starting to be like on pc as well so you can play okay. on mouse and keyboard and on a on a controller um I, you know, I, I don't really care what you plan. You're a gamer no matter what. Um, but a lot of either, I, I can get into it to like the nth degree. But, uh, you know, there's this whole like PC master race, right? Like PC is the master race of gaming. Well, you know, like it's way, and it, and it is, is it because. Because it's harder? No, it's kind of. Some people think that playing on a mouse and keyboard is harder than, than on a controller. Um, that's to be, that's, you know, debatable. I think, I personally think that they're, it's, you know, a little bit more difficult to aim. It requires a lot more precision with a mouse, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and this is like what a mouse and keyboard looks like. I mean, so there's my little mouse. Oh, right I know I what it is because yeah. Sawyer, age 12, saved up for like two Let's go. years to buy all of his stuff. Got that rainbow keyboard thing, the special. Yeah, thing, the it looks so situation. cool. It does look very cool. And like, if he takes care of it, it, it'll last a very long time. Um, yeah. If, you know, he can take out the keys and clean the whole thing out if it, if it has any problems and like wash it and stuff like that if he needs to, so. So you are, do you, pl you play both? You play console and mm -hmm. keyboard, okay, yeah, great. I started on, yeah, I started on the Xbox, well, I started on the PlayStation, um, and then I went to like, you know, the Sega Genesis, which is before PlayStation, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, then Dreamcast, then Nintendo, and then I played the GameCube. I mean, my, my parents, luckily, you know, we had pretty much everything, and if I didn't have a console, my, my neighbors did, I would just go over to their house and play. Yeah. And so is, do you choose the machinery based on the game? Like if it's first person, is it better to be on this versus that? 
yeah, sometimes. Uh, so for example, right now, like, like Fortnite, Fortnite right now, you can play on the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Nintendo switch, or like the PC or on, you know, and so the only difference is, is on the PC, you can play it at the highest level, which means like the frame rate and the graphics are going to be like absolutely perfect and flawless. Um, whereas if you play on the Xbox, the PlayStation, you're capped in a lot of those, like you're capped graphically, you're capped like in, on the frames. So it, it, lo it doesn't look as good and it doesn't play as wow. smooth. Yeah. This is um, fascinating. So in Final Fantasy XI back in the day, there like it was, it didn't, it wasn't the greatest looking game in terms of graphics. And one of the biggest issues was at the end of every single one of their patch notes, it would always be like PlayStation, like PS2 limitations. PS2 limitations. So, so like so and so for this, 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 PS2 limitations. So like the graphics could never be like upgraded to like how they wanted because when they would push the game out on PlayStation and on on like you know come to PC, it you know the PC or the sorry the PlayStation couldn't like limited. So they had to like cap it always. Man, I, I genuinely this is why I wanted to do this podcast. I genuinely am, fa am fascinated by worlds that I know nothing about, and you are just like guiding me through a world I know nothing about, and I'm nerding out so hard. Um, okay, wait, I want to make sure I have the list. Okay. Final Fantasy Eleven. Yep. Legend of something. Lagaya. Lagaya. Mm -hmm. I thought you were gonna go with Legend of Zelda. I got really excited. No. I was like, I've played that. Nope. Okay, great. What's number three? Um, I'm going to have to go with the OG, uh, I'm going to say Halo 1. I'll put Halo 1 in there. So Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, that was the game that got me in. It was like my, my first FPS, got me into like competitive gaming, got me into pr I mean, pretty much exactly where I am today. Uh, absolutely love the game. So, the, And I, that I is first person shooter. Mm -hmm. I know one first thing. Yep. And that is, um, you like see the gun. But mm -hmm. you don't see the character. You are the character. Yeah, you might see okay. at most like like their hand or like their arm. okay, Maybe okay, like, like like extending, but that's it. Okay, and Halo is about. Uh, so, so this is how I got to play Halo when I was thirteen. I, I convinced my mom that I was saving the Earth from aliens. Oh, it's like, aliens. So technically, if you're looking at not any of the PvP aspect, right, which is playing against other other players, truly. Um, yeah, you're playing against your, you know, your master chief. You're one of the the only chief, the only Spartan at the time, uh, and you have to defeat the Covenant, who which are aliens, uh, from taking over the ring, which is a weapon. It's literally just it's called Halo, uh, and if you control it, it literally can like destroy worlds, right? It can like power up and then poof, like they can just take over whatever they want and kill whatever they want. So you I had to like no idea. Yeah, and the ring, this is the coolest part, is like the ring of Halo, like you could actually land on it. Like it was it was like a planet, if you will. It was super cool, right? So imagine like that's how big this thing is. It's just and like it was, you know, obviously you got to like the center of it and you could, you know, access it. So you're going with the very first iteration of this game. Yeah. Just because like nostalgia for you. Yeah, what it started, okay. you know, it was my first FPS. Loved it. Okay. So your fourth choice? I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with Final Fantasy VII now, and then. Uh, oh, 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 absolutely, a lot of I Final like Fantasy this. games. I like this. Okay, same same world, new version. Correct. So Final Fantasy VII was an RPG, so not you know not an MMO, not online. Um, and you know your Cloud Strife is the you know he's the main care the the protagonist right, and he is trying to save the planet. Uh, from Shinra, who is, well, and Sephiroth, who is the antagonist, the, the antagonist, they're trying to basically, like, suck, they're sucking the life source of the planet, using it as power. I mean, it is very, like, realistic uh, to what we are doing now. Um, it, it's this thing called Mako or Mako energy, and they're using it to power stuff, and they're sucking it out of the planet. The planet's dying. So, Cloud and his crew, they go, and they try to take out Shinra and stop them from, you know, sucking out all the life so, uh, life source of the planet and uh in a nutshell wait in this scenario are you still the little creature no no no. in this scenario so we actually named it's our like new puppy after this new, guy it's whole like a universe whole thing. Oh, so there what? so final so same like every final fantasy like it's the same universe right but okay. picture like but completely different storylines different characters okay. almost no overlapping um besides like you know uh, a character here like a like a like a 
never a main character, but a character here and there will, will always make appearances in certain games. Um, but they'll never be like, you know, they won't be like, hey man, like good job saving the world from, you know, like that's never, it's always completely different. Uh, so this guy is, so na named after our dog our, that we rescued is named after this guy, hold up. So there's a movie after the, there's a movie of this about him now too about Final Fantasy VII now too. Um, this guy. Nice, nice. Yeah, so That's he, oh, I absolutely like. I, if I could, I would look like him and do my, and have my hair like him. But you know, that's just never gonna happen. Um, uh, yeah, and it's just love it, love it. Incredible game. I could go into it forever. So, did we go through for okay? So what's number five? What's this feels like a big deal. It's hard to choose. I mean, I, you didn't I, say Mario Kart once, so absolutely not. Uh, it's, no, I love Mario Kart. I mean, I'll destroy anyone at it, but it's not like my favorite game of all time. Right. I'm thinking of games that I could just play over and over and over again, and I'd probably have to say Final Fantasy X now. Like, I love. I literally oh do love. That's a whole other one. I, I love. I honestly, this makes me so happy that there is. The, the I didn't even know this existed. My kids are gonna be like, mom, you're the worst. But I thought this was funnier if I didn't research at all and only came in with the information I had. So even though they have different numbers, mm -hmm. it's, a to it's basically a different game. You never need to play one. Like you don't need to play right. one to play two, to play three, to play four. Like you can go in right. to do whatever you want. So I'm a big book nerd and I think of this like for me I would think of this as reading a series of books but each individual book is about a different character so that you can read them out of sequence and it's still the world is still there for you I yeah I'm picking sure. up what you're laying down mm -hmm. how do you feel when they make movies about video games that you care about um I, I don't really think they've made one that I've actually cared about right now oh, okay like like it, like they haven't made a Final Fantasy. Actually, there was like this one weird Final Fantasy one, but it was it, it had nothing to do with like actual Final Fantasy. It was called Final okay. Fantasy. It was weird. Um, but I, I haven't really had any issues with that. I haven't run into that. Ready Player One is one of the only ones, is like one of the only like legitimate, you know, video games. And uh, Wreck-It Ralph with a lot of video game references. I love that. Just my wife and I, oh right. my God, we love that freaking movie series. The first one, the second one, both incredible. Um, and Ready Player One was fantastic. I thought they did a great job. I never read the book. Don't care movie was amazing ready for the next one i how, think they're working on the next one how do you feel uh, do you know or have you ever played the witcher yes i've played it i've dabbled in okay. it and god the netflix series is incredible that, that's the only reference i have for this i didn't know anything about this world and inside of quarantine i started watching that series and love it and i'm like so i'm good. not gonna play this game but I really like this world. So when you start talking so about cool. Final Fantasy, I'm like, that kind of sounds like there's different creatures and we're trying to save the world. And that's awesome. If they came out with, oh my, I would die. I would die if they came out with like a, a series or a TV show about Final Fantasy, I'd lose my mind. But I mean, they yeah. probably, they pro not anytime soon, like, I don't think. How did you fall into this world? Are you tired of telling the story or will you tell me this story? Oh, I'll tell you the story. What was the first one I played? I think I think we just bought it. Like my, we saw like a commercial or an ad for it, something. We bought it for the PlayStation, and it, that was it. Like we loved it. We fell in love with it. Me and my brothers, and it, you know, we heard you know Final Fantasy VIII came out. We played that one. Final Fantasy IX came out. We bought that one. Ten came out. Bought that one. Eleven came out after ten, and then ten two came out, which is like that. That one was like Final Fantasy ten two was like a a follow up of ten, and I will. I could go into that. I could die. Like people didn't like it. It was an all girl one. And they were all like, it was all like the bad girls. Like they were, but like the storyline, like the love, it was, it was a whole love story one essentially, which is like the first time they've ever done that. And cause in the first final fantasy 10 cloud is a dream. He's not real, the main character, but he falls in love with Yuna and Yuna falls in love with him. And then at the end, like long story short, at the end of it, he has to like, you know, the, um, like the summons, the, the summoners, they have to like wake up. And when they wake up, like when you save the world and they wake up, like the dreams go away, the things that they've dreamed go away. So Cloud goes away, or I'm sorry, uh, Titus goes away. And Yuna is like, oh my God, like, where are you? So the entire 10 2 is her trying to find him. Like she's trying to like find a way to bring In him back. In video game form. 100%. So you have to 
beat the game 100%. If you beat it 100%, like it literally, it's one of the only Final Fantasy games that actually has a percentage of your completion. Like if you're doing everything right, you have to find all of like the little hidden eggs and do everything that you possibly can to get it to 100%. If you do, you can bring it back at the end with like a hidden ending. And it's like the most, like I was like bawling when I when I was I, just oh, gonna ask, have you ever cried because of a video game? Absolutely. That Especially this one. Sense. I mean, oh my god, it was so like I'm so happy. Yeah, like so where like, they met? Oh, I'm sorry. Just a minute. We're good, you go. No, oh no, no. I just this makes me so happy that 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 like that there is emotion wrapped into this thing and that you work so hard. Because the only reference I have, and it's nothing compared to you, but I'm thinking of when I was little, which the only thing I was playing back then was like Mario Brothers and sort of working. But when you beat the game, you were a fucking hero. You, yeah. It was like the greatest moment and you would work so hard to get to the place where you could beat the game. I can't even imagine something like this where there's characters and they love each other and like you're trying to find her lost ghost love. Yeah. Like yep. that is enough it's, to make me want to play. It is, it's insane. Um, and like the first time I beat it, I had no idea. Like, I, I think I, I had the guidebook, but I didn't like read the guidebook. Cause like, you don't read the guidebooks. It's like kind of cheating. And once I, I'm half, I think I was halfway done with the game. I had like 15 hours, 10 hours of gameplay in the game. And I, then I, then I like skipped to the end to read like the super secret something like a, a tip. And I was like, Oh my God, I need to beat a hundred percent to get like, to get the secret ending. And then I are, and then I looked up, I was like, Oh my God, I already missed like 5% already from like shit i just skipped because i didn't think i needed to do it yeah. so i literally started all over i was like screw this yeah which is also oh the God. worst when you forget to save like you don't do this anymore because it auto saves thank god amazing feature but up, back in the day game right created. big ups freaking thank you there's so many times where i'd be like one or two hours three hours into a game i wouldn't save and then i would die to a boss or i would die or like the power would go out and you feel defeated right right like i would literally just be like what do i do I just wasted, literally wasted three hours of my life and I have to do it all over again. Like, you know, what's coming, you know, the text is coming. There's no surprises. Like, Oh my gosh. How awful. in the world did you, I, I don't know if you sort of fell into it or there was intention behind it, but how in the world did you know that this could be a job? It was, uh, just like, how did you go, like, I'm going to go play video games and just, like, put it on YouTube and see what happens? Yeah. So, it wasn't even, it was just, like, I just did it, right? Like, I was playing, I was, I was always going to school where I played soccer, like, competitively and, and was still doing all of those things, was always a priority, and I just played video games as much as I could in the meantime. And then, once I started, and then, like, think, like you just kind of, it's kind of, like, I mean, you could say like I'm an entrepreneur, right? In in a sense, or like you, pretty much everyone is. Who I guess who has started like a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel that's being successful, or that is, you know, you have success from that. Is at the time it wasn't there, but you saw something, right? So like I knew that YouTube was a thing, and I knew that like if you wanted to just become a YouTuber, right, you would upload YouTube videos, and then they, you you would make good content. People would watch it, like. And I, I did that while I was doing other stuff because I was passionate about it, right? And then eventually those things just started to pop up, right? Like I started to stream because someone was just like, hey, I want you to start streaming for um, for my my Twitch, not my Twitch, my like uh, streaming platform that I'm going to do. And I was just like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to stream anyways because the guy, he just brought it up. I was like, all right, I'll do it. Started doing and it. And how long ago, how long ago was this? Is this like a and decade ago? Is, this is a decade ago, yeah. Okay. And I was so yeah, I was just, I was like, okay, well now all I have to do is stream. And like, I already play 10 hours a day minimum, like I might as well just stream it. And then all of a sudden, like now there are ads. And I was like, well, that makes sense. Ad revenue because people watch your stuff and you play commercials, you make money. And then the partnership program comes out with Justin TV. And then, and the, like, it was literally just like, it was there. I took advantage of it. And you know, here we are 10 years later. Wow. And now as you, you've built sort of this empire, this, insane like you built this thing as you look forward to the next 10 years do you have a thought behind okay now this is what I want to build from here or are we just like are you more like a, I'm in this present moment gonna just sort of be here and see what happens uh, a little bit of both the wife is very very I mean her and uh her and my mom both were on the same page like five years ago 
Uh, if you aren't making more than X amount, like we want you to consider going back to school, which is exactly what happened at one point. Um, that had like a huge low point and that's all, that's a whole other story for a different time. Um, and I went back to school immediately. I was like, all right, yeah, you're right. I started taking college classes again. And while I, while I was still streaming and, and, but you know, so she is like, you know, we need to have a plan. And the plan right now is, um, keep streaming, keep gaming. I'm never going to stop streaming. I don't think like full time. Uh, and I think I'm ever going to stop gaming ever. Like I'm going to be that eight year old grandpa kicking ass. Feels uh, right. Feels facts. right. Facts. Like I'm going to destroy, it's going to be insane. Like people are going to be like, how is he still doing it? You know, it, it's 60 years later. They're like, give it up old man. No, <laughs> but we're looking at, and I'm excited about, um, you know, any voice, voice acting opportunities or being a part of, you know, any animation studio series, you know, cartoons, things like that, continuing on with like the Ninja brand. I know that a lot of kids obviously love, you know, they love me, they love Fortnite, they love just the, the, the whole like Ninja icon, right? And like what it looks like, what it stands for. Um, so just continuing to do things like that. And like, I, I love that stuff, right? I love mm -hmm. cartoons. So it, and I love, you know, doing voices and, and, and making people laugh and entertaining. So what I've always done when, ever since I was little, I could quote a movie, any line, like right after it, my parents would always laugh, my family would laugh. It's just something I love doing. So just continuing to do things like that and, and evolving with, uh, you know, pop culture and, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I honestly, I could like nerd out and talk to you forever. And I really appreciate that you took the time to answer a bunch of dorky questions that I, I, prob I probably should be more prepared than to ask you. But um, I super appreciate the glimpse into the things that you're interested in and passionate about. I will take this list back to my son's and see if it makes me cooler for knowing what they are. Um, <laughs> okay. And I'm glad I'm not the only person who watched the Witcher series. Oh yeah, I mean- I, I literally have not met anybody else. You watched the entire first season? Yes, it's incredible. Did you cry at the end of the last episode when they finally yes. found each other? Cause yes. I cried like a baby. When she like sees so, in the forest, I was like, no! Finally, I mean like the fact that they're looking for each other that entire time. Oh. Also, right. like I have to, I have to rewatch it because my brother Chris told me going into it, he's like, "Listen, timeline is weird." Yeah, I didn't just, know but, that at but, first. And it exactly, super tripped me out. And it, it tripped me out. I literally texted him at one point. I was like, "Dude, I've already seen this episode. What right. is happening?" And he's right. like, no, "He's like, bro, I told you, man. Like, be wait, like, just keep, like, be conscious of the timeline." And I'm just like, "Okay." So I got to go back and watch it again. But yeah. what uh, I, yeah, I recommend that for anyone. You don't even have to yeah. you don't even have to play The Witcher to know what's going on. It's just an incredibly active show. Yeah. Not that I'm following along, but they are filming season 2 right now even inside yes. of COVID and yeah. I'm here Not for it that. and I cannot wait. Also, The Mandalorian. I don't know if you watched The Mandalorian, you have the to. The kids have. I haven't seen it yet. You have is that to. something I should add? Yeah, okay. It is it, you don't you don't you don't need to know any Star Wars lore. You really don't. Okay. Just, it is so good. It's okay. it's own thing it's it's incredible you'll love it and there and season okay. two is now rolling out right now episode one is already out and i think two is coming out in the next couple of days okay i'm gonna add that to the list hey um i appreciate the time man For absolutely people thank you. who are living under a rock because you have more followers online than i even know is possible where <laughs> i was gonna say where's your favorite place to hang out is it youtube are you on instagram like where can people go follow uh, Everything. So just at Ninja on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, twitch.tv slash Ninja streaming there pretty much every day or every other day. Well, I hope that someday when we're not inside of COVID, we get to meet in real life. Um, awesome. I hope that you start prepping yourself emotionally for the boundaries before you start streaming. I'm not your mom, but that feels important for you. Um, and man, have a good, have a good week. And I hope you I get too. to talk to you again someday. Awesome. Thank you, Rachel. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.